Hey everybody, got this IP recap for Pittsburgh Pirate Fest. I recorded this once, but it was too long, so I'm gonna break it up into two days. Not the video was too long, I guess, it was just too long for my phone to one handle, so I'm gonna break it up. So, day one, I got a lot more just because the event was a lot longer that day. So, this video will be all day one, and then, so this will be part one, and then I'll upload part two, which will also include a couple of TTMs I've gotten back this week. So Pirate Fest happened this past weekend, the weekend of December 11th. So, uh, it's basically a lot of waiting and lines, but you can get people walking around the shore, show floor also. It's really easy, but let me sh I'll just get right into it. First group of the dip morning. Um, they try to really make sure you only get one per, but a lot of times you can kind of sneak a couple more things in. But for the first group I just had these 8 by 10 so I was just worried about that. So first off I got Francisco Cervelli on this 8 by 10 he gave me a nice autograph. Looks better in person but still looks nice. And then I also got Jared Hughes on this 8 by 10. He's a really solid reliever. And then I also got Bob Walk on a sweet spot for my dad so I don't have that. But they also hand out these little photos, and here I signed a bunch of his, so I grabbed one. So yeah, that was the first group. And then the second group, I got Jake Gobert. Uh, he's a guy we just signed off season. Right now, he looks like he'll be platooning with Michael Morris for first base, which I'm not that excited about. Hopefully, we can go out and get another first base. But we also got one of his little photos. He's a really nice dude, but. I don't know if he's definitely not the answer for us at first base. Then I also got Bobby Lawford Boys. Some guy we might just plug into our bullpen. He might not even be on the team. He might go back to Indianapolis. He he was signing his cards too, but I just forgot to grab one. But my dad did. So. And then the big person in that group that I was super, 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 super excited to get. I've gotten him before, but... I got Bill Mazeroski on this 8x10, the photo of him hitting the game-winning home run in the Game 7 of the 1960 World Series, and he has a great autograph, but people were getting him to sign a bunch, so got him also signing this card, I believe that's a 19, yeah, 1966 card, so that's sweet, really happy about that, he's probably my favorite pirate all time, and then after that, we, my dad and I, we walked around the show floor a little bit. And uh, Jared Hughes got him again. He just got off the radio doing an interview, so I got him to sign again. Then saw Bob Walk again, so I got him to sign these two cards. Bob Walk's a really nice guy. Then also I saw Pirates pitching coach Ray Surge. Hadn't gotten him before, so really nice to get him. He's a great pitching coach for the Pirates. And he was a decent player, so happy about that. Then also I got Pirates third base, no, first base coach now, Nick Leva. He used to be a former manager for Phillies. So happy about that. Hadn't gotten him either. Actually hadn't gotten any of the Pirates coaching staff except for Hurdle before. Then I got three from uh, third base coach, Rick Sofield. It's kind of confusing. Sofield and Leva switched last year, so... Sofield was coaching first base, and then last year they switched. So, a little interesting. I don't know why they did that necessarily. But, he's really easy to get. I just never had cards for him. He walks to the stadium every day. So, I see him a bunch. Just finally got cards for him. So, that's nice. Finally get him. And then, also, I saw Clint Hurdle walking around. Clint Hurdle's a really nice guy. He signs pretty much for everyone. So, that's nice to get him. Then got back in line for the next autograph group. Got Kevin Young on this one card. And I also grabbed one of his cards that he pre-signed. Then I got Rob Scahill. Um, normally I have blue Sharpies, but he was talking about the photo because he liked it a lot. And what I noticed, he's already selling it in a kind of crappy black Sharpie. But it still looks nice. It's not the best autograph. Just because of the Sharpie, but it still looks nice, so I didn't really worry about it. Also grabbed one of his cards that he signed, so he'll probably be in our bullpen this year. 
And then also in that group, the main reason for this group, uh, 2014 All Star, Josh Harrison. I forgot to add him. Add. Uh, forgot to ask him to add that. My dad did on his sweet spot that he got of him. Jay's pretty alright about signing. He used to be really good. Now he's kind of eh, just because he's been more popular. And then the next group was the 1971 World Series group. It had seven people from that team. Uh, the one guy had to get up and leave early because he was being interviewed on the radio. So I couldn't, I wasn't able to go through the line while he was there. But he still had a bunch of these card signs, Steve Glass. So I grabbed one. That's not a big deal. I've gotten Steve Glass a bunch already. I just had two cards for him still. So I would like to get him again, but it's not a big deal. Also in the group, Richie Hebner. I grab one of his cards. Then I got two two from Dave Gusty. This dude's not all there. He tried to sign my book, but I was like, no, you don't want to sign that. You want to sign the cards. And then he just said some things I couldn't really understand at all. I mean, he's nice, but you could tell he wasn't really all there. And then I got three three from Bob Robertson. He didn't. He was kind of just sitting there because that line was moving really slow, mostly because Dave Gusty was just talking nonsense to people, so the line was going really slow. So he didn't really care. And then I got two cards from Manny Sanguian. It looks like he writes "Go Bucks" and then Manny Sanguian. That's what it kind of looks like to me. But he's really nice. He's a really great catcher for the part. He was a great catcher for the parts, and then I also grabbed two of his cards. Yeah, he had like he had so many of those signed already. Then I also got Dave Cash on his card and two cards. So yeah, never had Dave Cash before. Sounds nice. Then I got three of three from Al Oliver. He signed in black sharpie, but uh, it's not a big deal. I've gotten him a bunch already. He's a great player. So three of three from Al Oliver, and I also grabbed one of his cards. And then I got back in line, and while I was in line, the one attendant handed me this, another Dave Cash card, so that's nice. And then in line, I got Starling Marte in this next group. Got him to add GG15. He couldn't spell Gold Glove, so just got GG15. He's a great player, though. It's kind of it's ironic he's a millionaire, but multi-millionaire, but he can't spell gold. Kind of funny, but it's understandable. Not from an English-speaking country, even though he does know English pretty well. But there's a difference between being able to speak it and write it. But it's still kind of ironic, nonetheless. Then also in that group, well, was Dave Parker. So I got him on this card. I'm excited about. And then finally in that group was Michael Morris. Hadn't gotten him before, so I got him on these two cards. He's really nice. I'm really happy to get him on the Pirates card. And I also got him. He gave me one of his photos too. So that was nice. And then the last part of that group. Last group of the day. I got Teak on one card. They were, they were watching him to make sure. You only get one. Same thing with Dave Parker. I also got Nick Kingham on this 8x10. But I handed him the card and the photo. So he signed the photo, and then he accidentally slid the card over the autograph, so the autograph got a little smudge, as you can see. But then he also signed the card, and you can see on the card right here where it slid across the autograph. But we were talking about it. We were talking beforehand, and then he, when he accidentally did it, he was like, oh, shoot. And then he kind of was like, did I really do that? So he honestly did not mean to do that. It was just an accident. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's still all right. So then the last person in the group, 2014 All-Star Tony Watson, who looks like he might end up being our closer this year because we might trade Melanson, which I'm all right with. He's a great player. He's a really nice guy, too. And then, uh, lastly, for that day, I saw I went over where the people were coming in out, where the players and coaches and whatnot hang out. It was late, so most of them already left, but I got Alan Hansen. As you can see, I messed up the card because I, my dad needed my book because he did not bring his to put his card on for Hanson to sign. So when I grabbed my book to hand it to him, I accidentally smudged it a little bit. So I tried to clean up the smudge, and when I did that, 
I guess I messed up the card. I don't know how I did that, but it's whatever. I've gotten him a bunch. So, yeah, that's uh, that's day one. So I'll post day two in a second. So thanks for watching, everyone.